All right, virtual folks. So this is a turbidity tube. Can you turn it so I can see the numbers here? There we go. Okay, so this is a turbidity tube. What's gonna happen is from the very top of it, where's my camera, there it is. Yep, okay, good. You see that little, um, whatever that thing's called at the bottom. You can see the black and the white. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill it up with water and turbidity is testing the amount of sediment in the water. So we're gonna fill it up with water and we're gonna add as much water as we can until we cannot see the differentiation in the, the disc, that's what it's called, um, between the white and the black in that disc. So one of the things you can't see on that other video is at the bottom of the tube, it looks like this. There's a hose that leads out of it and that's how we let the water out. All right, so now what we've done um, is we filled the water up completely or the tube completely up with water. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be standing at the top looking down the tube and the sun is making my life really difficult right now. So basically, like I'm gonna look down the tube and I'm gonna let Paris know when I can see the disc and that'll tell us how much sediment is in the water. All right, so I was just looking at it. It didn't take long for me to be able to see the bottom. You can see the water level is only right here. Um, the way we read the turbidity tube, you can see it has meters on it, but that's not how we're gonna read it. What we're gonna do is we actually have something called NTU or it's, I forgot what the N stands for, but they're turbidity units. So it starts at the very bottom um, and it goes up to the top. So the highest one or the lowest one, I guess, we have up here is less than 10. So we would say that there's less than 10 NTU. Um, for turbidity. Again, the more turbid it is, that would mean that there's a lot of sediment in the water. Um, that's not, we want some sediment in the water because the water does carry nutrients with it, but when we have a lot of sediment in the water, it mostly means there, there's probably some area upriver that's undergoing erosion, whether that is from industrialization or clear cutting or poor farm practices that sediments, we're gonna lose sediments, which we don't wanna do, and then we're gonna lose them into the water, and many times those sediments are carrying nutrients, or they could be carrying pesticide or other toxic substances, and so knowing how much sediment in the water um, is a good thing to keep track of.